to protest uh, not only the closure of bluffs, but general discontent with the SCSU. Alison Grant says with her fellow co-workers on the couches by bluffs. She's waiting for more people to show up. It is a sit-in in front of the bluffs to confront the student union. The former waitresses say they don't believe the student union's explanations. Stephanie Hockland worked at Bluffs for 14 months. It came out of nowhere, and the reasons, which supposedly it's just closed down, we all think is complete bullshit. We think that they're hiding stuff and they're not good leaders. For Stephanie and the other employees, working at Bluffs was convenient because it was on campus and because they got good tips. I'm kind of pissed because now there's nowhere that's hiring. Uh, and now I have to kind of find a new job to support myself. And, uh, that's not happening right now. The students are not the only ones who would have to find other ways of support. Hogland says the impact on the full-time staff is even greater. I feel bad for the full-time people who've been working here for years, and especially you have families who need, you know, they're the only form of income, and now they're going to be jobless. They have no job, and the rest of the students have no other restaurant to go to except for fast food and vending machines. The SESU president says they're working on a new strategy to open a student-run restaurant. Monica Valencia, Observer Radio News, Scarborough.